Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PCG Live Paldean Page Tech video, and it is that time of the week again, everyone's favorite week, Bad Deck Friday. And today's Bad Deck Friday episode is all on Wug Trio. Now, I love playing Wug Trio. I've done a lot of videos on this card. It is a really fun card to play with that undersea tunnel attack where you flip three coins, free heads, discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. If you flip three heads, you get to mill nine cards, which is insane. Now, this card is a lot of fun to play, and it did get some brand new cards with Paradox Rift, and that is mainly Counter Catcher. Obviously, Wug Trio is all about milling your opponent, but if you're playing just a deck where they can just attack you six times in a row, you probably can't win the game. Now that we have Counter Catcher in the format, it makes it a little bit easier to try to stall stuff. So we're going to be combining Counter Catcher today with Spite Ops, with that Trap Territory ability where your opponent's active Pokemon or tree cost costs one colorless more. So if we have like two Spite Ops in play, the opponent's active now has like a plus two retreat, making it very hard for them to move it. A lot of decks right now play very limited switching cards. Even if they do have switch, we can mill the switch potentially with Undersea Tunnel. Wug Trio, of course, is very strong when combined with Reversal Energy because now, you know, since we're not taking prizes with this deck most of the time, we can put Reversal Energy onto our Wug Trio and mill the opponent for one energy, which is really, really cool. And of course, we can trap stuff with Counter Catcher. We have Calamitous Wasteland to trap stuff also. And we also have cards like Jirachi, which make it easier to beat decks with Sableye, which is nice. So Paradox Rift did give us some brand new tools for Wug Trio. And I'm excited to show off my Wug Trio mill deck. This is a lot of fun to play. And it is, of course, Bad Deck Friday, because at the end of the day, Wug Trio is a little flimsy. Sometimes, you know, your opponent plays really well and you know they counter the wug trio and you can't deck them out sometimes wug trio just slips a ton of tails with that attack and you ain't milling anything but when the deck works and when you get to really get to play the deck it's a lot of fun and i'm not gonna lie this wug trio deck felt really really clean in today's video before we get in the video though shout out to the sponsor card cabin tcg of course if you're looking for any pcg live pack coats get them over at card cavern card council's coach line for the cheapest so if you're looking to pick up any set like the main set paldean fates or an older set like paradox rift or 151 or some irl pokemon tcg singles and product card councils all that over there if you can think of card cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf to get yourself a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and help our card cabin so big shout out to card cavern check them out use code ldf link down below also check out the shovel squad down below and my second youtube channel for some extra content been doing a lot of rotation content over there looking at new cards to get revealed uh all kinds of stuff over on the second channel definitely go give it a watch and a sub if you haven't already so here is my wug trio spite ops list in the full deckless view very straightforward. We're not playing too many cards. We just have the 4-4 four, four, Wug Trio, 3-3 three, three, Spide Ops, uh, Manaphy Jirachi. I am playing a Rodom in the deck. I couldn't justify fitting, like, a Bibberol in the deck or, like, a Curlia engine. Like, I couldn't really find a draw engine to fit in this deck. There's so many cards we have to play. And, honestly, the bench space is kind of tight. I guess, like, a 1 of Bibberol, 2-2 two, two Bibberol could be fit in here. But I don't know how we, how we realistically would fit that. But I'm honestly fine with playing the Rodom. If you can find it early on, you can set it up. I'm not playing Battle VIP. That's, like, I guess, like, the one card you could theoretically play for the setup is the Battle VIP passes. I just haven't been in the mood to play VIP recently. I, uh, you know, whenever I play Battle VIP and I record a video, I don't get one of my starting hand. It's, like, I don't know. It's not a fun time. The card is just a pain to play, and I don't want to play it. I didn't feel like it. But you could try to fit it if you really wanted to. It would make your turn ones better. Um, I am playing a lot of draw. We are playing four research, three chorus, two Iono. We're not playing heavy Iono because you don't want to Iono your opponent because you don't want to put more cards back into their deck, um, make their deck even bigger. Still a good card to have in the early game, though. And sometimes it can be useful. You can counter catch your trap something plus Iono them, making it very hard for them to move their active. Like, if you know they have a switch in their hand or a switch left in their deck or something, you can counter catch your trap something, Iono your opponent's hand very low to, like, two cards, and then start decking them out and then hoping you hit the switch or you just make them stall for a couple extra turns. So Iono's still really good. I am playing a couple other sneaky cards like Erica's uh, Invitation. Uh, you're obviously one of the most hated cards right now in the format due to Snorlax abusing this, but your opponent reveals their hand. You can put it basically fine there into their active spot. So basically, it's a free gust from the hand. So if your opponent's holding on to like a Jirachi or a Manaphy or something, or like a Radiant Greninja or like just some Pokemon, you can easily trap in the active. Erika is a really nice card to have. I don't know if we really need it, though, because we, we are also playing the Echoing Horn in the deck to trap something from the bench on uh, yeah, put a basic on their bench uh, from the discard pile. Because sometimes you mill a Manaphy or something with Wug Trio, and then you can, like, trap it with Echoing Horn if they have a bench spot open. I am playing one Collapse Stadium, another cuttable card. It's just here to get the Rodom off the board um, so it doesn't get boss super easily. I don't think Collapse Stadium is necessary, though. Uh, I am playing some Grass Energy in the deck. Surprisingly enough, Wug Trio 
isn't the only attacker we can use. Spite Ops, well, it is used for the ability. Actually can attack. It's attack wire hang. Does 90 plus 30 more damage for each color synergy in the opponent's active retreat cost. Not bad. If you're playing against Charizard, you can either go for the deck out strategy or you can attack Charizard three times with Spite Ops. Spite Ops does one at KO Charizard EX with its ability, giving Charizard a three retreat, meaning that wire hang does knock out Charizard in one hit. There are different lines of take, uh, routes you can take against Charizard, and you can also use it against Roaring Moon EX, which is not bad either. So you can actually attack with Spite Ops. Keep that in mind too when playing the deck. That's why I'm playing Grass Energy in the deck, just in case we want to use Spite Ops as an attacker. If your opponent has like a big threat in play that you can attack with Spite Ops, could be an option. You can also use Bind Down. If you don't want to counter catch your stall, you can also Bind Down Trap your opponent. You can put a Grass Energy and a Double Turbo Energy onto your Tarantula, and then you can do zero damage because of the double turbo and then you can infinitely trap your opponent with bind down we don't play pidgeot v in the deck though so you have to be a little mindful of that but assuming that you're already using wug trio early on your opponent should have less cards in the deck than you do anyway so you should be able to deck them out um let's go show off the wug trio deck for today's bad deck friday and see in action now let's get into this game here with wug trio Ooh, start off with a mulligan that would have been a good hand double nest ball double turbo energy wug trio all right what do we got with our new hand Nothing great. I can get Rodom, I guess. A lot of a lot of gust in our hand, but not much else going on. We'll see what we're up against, Steven. Can Wug Trio take a dub? Ooh, a Zatu deck. I don't know what the Ooh, if it's this Pathra though, that could be kind of scary. I mean, I got I got we gotta get rid of the boss. I I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> the boss like the only card in my hand that like I can reasonably get rid of. I'm not even gonna bother putting the reverse energy on. It's not even worth it. We're just gonna instant charge. See, we got... Okay. Oh, uh, it's not great. Probably have to do another round of Rodom next turn. They could Iono me, obviously, too. No, we're against Espathra. Oh, my God. That's actually not good, because Espathra's ability stops my Wug Trio from being able to use Undersea Tunnel with a Reverse Energy. That's actually really bad. We're going to have to rely on Counter Catcher, probably, to bail us out of tough spots. Huh. Ooh, Artisan. Nice. Good for us. He has a good artisan. We have a pretty good hand building up here if my opponent is an Iono. Oh, and they put a Manaphy in play. Huge mistake. Actually, just a huge mistake. All right, well, that's... There you go. There's our win condition. Countercatcher Manaphy. There it is. There it is. I'm surprised they put that into play. That was... Yeah, that's good for us. All right, well, artisan here for one of our Spite Ops, Tarantulas, whatever. Bench two Wiglets. Should probably put a reverse energy on just in case. I could play the Calamitous Wasteland here to get rid of their Artisan. I kind of want to play the Artisan next turn, though. This thing could retreat, though, which I don't really want it to. It's only for basics, though. They could just evolve it. I'll just instant charge. It's fine. I'll let the Artisan stand play for a turn. Okay. Got an Erica. I still haven't found a draw supporter yet, which would be nice, but an Erica's Invitation could do. I mean, honestly, is it even really needed when they have a Mana in play already? I guess I'd rather Jirachi in the active than Manaphy. Or it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. All right, that's not good. They got energy on Zacian. They might just be loading that thing up with energy to try to make it a one-shotter. That thing, I mean, I guess what they could do is they could just sit there, load up Zacian, then have it one-shot my Spite Ops, which is kind of annoying. Ooh, they do have an Iono. That's annoying. Maybe I should have evolved my... Probably, honestly, should have evolved the Wiglets there. It's kind of a misplay. I still... Dude, how do I not get a supporter off that? What? Really? No supporter card? And they hit the switch? Okay, I guess I'd rather you switch now, obviously. That's really annoying, bro. How do I not find a supporter off of that Iono plus double Rodom? Are you kidding me? Dude, give me a supporter top deck. If I don't get a supporter top deck here, we might be cooked. Okay, good. I was like, bro, there's no shot. Should I shuffle the deck? There are two Wugtrias at the bottom. I think I will shuffle. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. I was, like, literally about to panic if I didn't get a supporter. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh. It's a lot of good stuff. I think we ditched the research. Screw it. I don't know if that was a good idea, but there's a lot of good cards in this hand. This hand is, is kind of stacked with good stuff. Okay, we can trap the Manaphy and hope they don't have another switch. Undersea Tunnel. Let's go. What are we milling today, Wug Trio? Let's see it. Okay. Two heads. There we go. Six cards. Let's see what we mill. What do we got? Nice. Boss is good. Worker's good. Tulip, not bad. We take those. 
All right, let's see what they got. Ideally, they don't have a switch. I imagine they're playing maybe two switch at most in their deck. We'll see. Gotta be mindful of this path for two. Clairvoyant Sense, that's fine. I'm just gonna draw them two more cards. The only downside not, about not grabbing that research is now my hand is kind of dead. But at the same time, though, it's like, I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I should have grabbed the research more I think about it. Not sure, though. I mean, low-key, we could just win the game by trapping this with Bind Down, if I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, if we can get another uh, Spide Ops here, we can trap Mana Fee even more. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to play the research. We're going to lose two Switch. That's fine, though. And a Counter Catcher kind of sucks, but nothing I can do about it. Hmm. Should we just counter catch her Natu, to be honest? Honestly, I'm kind of down. I don't think it really matters. The Natu can attack, but it's not knocking me out, obviously. Yeah. Didn't get another Wug Trio. That's fine. We got more stuff next turn. Uh... Undersea Tunnel? Sure. Let's get back to Millen. Here we go. What do we got? What do you got for me, buddy? One, two. Oh, I was hoping for the triple heads. All right, what do we got? Nice. Okay, another boss gets milled. Another energy. Both bosses being gone is good. I don't want them to just boss at my two prizers. Because that Zacian, like I said, they could just load Zacian up with energy on it and just, like, have it knock out my Wugtree or my Spide Opses and Rodom. But if we just keep getting rid of their boss's orders, that ain't happening. Yeah, it's good. I didn't mill any switching cards. Faulkner, what am I playing against? Why do they play so many random supporters? Yeah, they have 13 cards left in their deck. They still have Iono to work with, though, to... Get stuff back. Maybe even a super rod. But if they don't get a knockout this turn, this is just another turn where we're just going to be able to wug trio them again. Do they have a switch? They don't have a switch. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, I really want to get a spite ops here. Another spite ops would be very good. No, but another wug trio is also fantastico. I do have Erica, could play her here. Probably not really worth it. I think I'm just gonna get back to Millen. Yeah, I'm just gonna get back to the mill grind. Here we go. One, two, hey, let's go triple heads. Nine cards gone. Let's go, baby. Yo, I saw a super rod get milled. All right, we milled a super rod. Let's go. Huge. Okay, well now this is probably looking pretty bad for my opponent. They have to have an Iono here, or else I'm more than likely just going to win next turn. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, there's the Iono. They have to play here, but they still have five prizes left. They haven't taken any knockouts since. So, like, yeah, I could still win next turn with a double hit here off Wug Trio. It's another energy. How many energy are they playing? That's got to be their last energy, surely. Triple strike. I mean, we'll see if that matters. It does slip two heads. Okay. Assuming they have one energy left in the deck or another tulip, I have to get another. Yeah, ideally, I get another Spite Ops here. Can I Echoing Horn anything into play? Could Echoing Horn another Natu into play? We could Echoing Horn Mew into play. That's got a Fruit Tree. Should I sh I'm not going to shuffle. I'm going to Coal Risk, see if I can find a Spite Ops. Nice. We got Spite Ops. There we go. Honestly, we can probably get rid of the Echoing Horn. I don't think we're going to need that. I just want to get a second Spite Ops. So now the Natu just can't retreat next turn. I have the Cal Calamitous Wasteland. Also, I mean, I could just win here, right? I, I literally could just win this turn. I, I could just win on the spot. Let's see. Triple heads, one time. Double heads? Okay, we win. All right, never mind. So I do win. But just in case, obviously, we want to play just in case we do whiff. And that's the dub. My opponent took one price that entire game. And we just were able to trap their stuff in the active. They probably could have played a little bit better with their energy but well trio was popping off bro we were flipping either two heads or three heads there's no in between we just absolutely cooked them there by the way the ladder did reset as i'm recording this so there you go um the ladder reset and uh yeah up against roaring moon uh we can beat it all right we'll see what we start with it's spite ops we'll grab the Tarantula and Wiglet. Actually, honestly, Tarantula slash Spite Ops might not be a bad attacker in this matchup, just because it does hit for weakness against Roaring Moon. Might actually be something we want to consider. 
Moon doesn't really have any good counter catcher targets apart from like maybe the squawk ability. We'll see if they end up benching it. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing here. They have a seven card hand. They could see a lot of cards this turn with their deck and that could be very good for Wug Trio because there's a pokey stop. You know, see if they can uh, get the attack here or not. If they whip the attack, then it's fine. It's more time to set up, I guess. Okay, they have an Ultra Ball. Let's see what they grab here. I gotta be a little mindful, though, of, like, punching too many Spite Ops. Superior Energy Retrieval, what the heck? Yeah, Radiant Greninja. That might be the best target to trap. They do play Darkrai V-Star, it looks like, though. That could be a problem. Darkrai does kind of suck, because they could use Darkrai to, like, control... Like, get switches. And they do get a Super Odd. Okay, well, they're probably going to have to play that Super Odd as they just milled their other Darkrai. Assuming they're not playing a 2-2 two -two line, yeah, they're going to have to get that back somehow. There's a Sada. I haven't seen a Squawkabilly yet. Are they going to play the Super Rod, though? Let's see it. They use the Super Rod now. That's one less Darkrai they have to get a switch back if I try to stall Greninja. I don't know. Maybe putting too many Spite Ops in play, it's an easy Frenzy Gouging target. But they can't Frenzy Gouging forever. Okay, they pass. They are playing Water Energy, which is good knowledge to have now. Good to know. Could Horn the Dark Ryan play. That's just kind of stupid. All right, let's research. Didn't get much. Uh, should I roll the Pokestop? Probably not a good idea. I was hoping to get Rodom. Or a way to find it. I could roll the Pokestop here. Loki tempted to, but I want to mill Energy. Now nah, let's spin it. Let's spin it. Okay. Never punish. Let's go. Insane. Broken card. Oh, Rona's prize. What am I saying? Just get another Wiglet. Tempted to play the Claim in his Wasteland just to get it out of my hand. They can get rid of it any time, though. It's probably better to save it. I'm just going to pass. I they, they could Greninja me here. Honestly, they go Greninja. We can just, like, counter catch her knockout. Roaring Moon with Spite Ops. So it's probably the play if they do Greninja. I could have Ultra Balled. Honestly, though, I kind of want to keep everything in the hand, maybe other than the Erica. They play Countercatcher too? What the heck? Well, they did find Energy Switch. They could Greninja me here. We'll see. There is a Spite Ops in play, though, so like they do have to like be mindful of how much retreat this Roaring Moon has, which is kind of cool. Oh, they're going to Iono me. Never mind. Look at that. We're getting Ionoed. See, we got off the Iono. Anything good? Okay. It's not bad. Got stuff. Do Duo. What? What kind of Roaring Moon deck is this? They have Do Duo in the deck too? I don't know what this is. They have an Ultra Ball. Okay, they get rid of Energy Switch. Sure. Are they going to get a Mew? Let's see. Palkia. What? Okay, what the heck? They're playing Palkia Dark. What? What on earth am I up against? Okay, if they knock me out here, honestly, I might as well just knock them out with Spite Ops. It's kind of counterintuitive to take the knockout on the moon with the Spite Ops, though, so I don't know if that's really a good idea. It's tempting, though. I mean, they have a one-card hand. Could also just mill them now. Hmm. They have two cards in hand. We can just, like, knock them out with Spite Ops here. I'm actually down. I'm so down just to attack with Spite Ops here. I, I'm fine. I don't think this is a bad play at all. Yeah, I think this play's okay. We'll grab Mana Fee. Chorus. All right. Uh, ooh. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Hmm. Part of me wants to take the Erica. Because if they have a Roaring Moon in their hand, we can force it into play, which is kind of sick. I don't think we want to do that, though. I'm just going to take these three, sure. Definitely want another Spite Ops. Can Ultra Ball here for Wug Trio. Sure. You need to get one of these in place, so might as well grab it now. We'll just knock him out. I might even just win this game with Spite Ops. I mean, Spite Ops is its own attacker. I mean, this could just be a Spite Ops deck at the end of the day. So let's knock out the Roaring Moon, take our prizes, see what we got. Countercatcher Wook Trio, not bad. Countercatcher is kind of a useless card at the moment. That's like the only downside when taking a knockout with Spite Ops. Now my Countercatcher is turned off, but I think that's okay because my opponent has a three-card hand currently. 
I don't know what we're really playing against. So I don't even know. There's a Pokestop again. Okay, they mill more good cards. There we go. We just keep attacking with Spite Ops. Like, honestly, Spite Ops might just be the main attacker in this matchup. Never mind. My opponent sacks an Ultra Ball anyways and is able to use Palkia V-Star. Okay, then. That is really annoying. Hmm. Yep, that's annoying. Maybe I just... I don't know. That kind of sucks I had that. Bro, hit the... The Star Portal. He's still two-shot Palkia. Tempted to just do that, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to. Hmm. I could just switch into Manaphy, though, and let them knock out Manaphy here. I don't really... We can always get it back with Carrier or something, right? Yeah. Sure. Research. Play level ball. I want to find my other... I want to find my other DT. And then I can, like... Yeah, I want to find DT at some point. I will pass. I mean, they have one card in hand, dude. If that is a boss's order, that is going to be pretty cringe. There's no shot. If they, my, if they kill the Spite Ops, though, then we can just trap something. It's fine. It's a goofy game. I don't know what my opponent's playing, though. They're just playing some weird Palkia Moon deck. Okay, they have a Galarian Moltres... See, this is why I don't mind going in with the moon or the spite ops. Because they're just, I mean, we could just literally win with spite ops. We don't even have to go down the angle of milling them with Wug Trio. Which is the best part about it. Hmm, I don't know. Does this kind of suck, though? Maybe I should just let them knock out the spite ops. Honestly, I probably should have. I probably should have just let them kill spite ops there. I didn't want to lose another spite ops, though. Maybe I should have. Just gonna do this. Just give up Wiglet, I guess. Ooh, we do boss. Spicy. Can save the boss for next turn. Now we can do this. We'll go boss the Greninja. And then we'll go dig a little. Obviously, I'm not gonna play Iono, and I don't wanna research quite yet. Okay, we flipped heads. Yo, what are we gonna get rid of this time? A battle VIP. That is the most useless card we could have got rid of. Okay, hopefully they don't have a switch. They have two cards. They have a Dodrio in play. They still have Pokestop to work with. Scrininja has a three retreat cost, though, so we'll see. Let's see what they're able to do. I mean, the other thing, too, with not attacking with Spite Ops and, like, switching it is if they bench another Roaring Moon, I could win the game by going Gust, Gust. Pokestop. No, they hit a switch. Okay, that's annoying. They hit one of their switches. Damn it. It's fine. We'll just counter catcher trap Greninja again. Yeah, I'll have to go counter catcher trap Greninja another for next turn. That sucks. Hmm. Unfortunate. It's fine. Palky is annoying because it's like the most easy attacker they could use. I don't know. Maybe we should be attacking with Spite Ops. We'll try to maybe build it up. Go we'll level ball. Check what we have left. We still got some stuff. Yeah, I might just attach the Spite Ops. This might be our win con is to, like, gust a bunch of times. Mm, I only have one counter catcher left after this. That should be enough, though, right? Counter catcher, trap this. Play Colrus. Grab these three. Okay, hopefully they don't have another switch. I can't get rid of that Pokestop. I wasn't able to find the... The Wasteland, which I was hoping for. Yo, three heads? One time? Okay, two heads, I'll take it. What do you got this time around? Nothing fantastic, unfortunately. I was hoping to see another switching card get discarded there. All right, that's fine. They have 13 cards left. If they don't attack, if they if they are stuck for maybe one more turn, we could potentially win by deck out. They do have an Iono they put back in the deck, though, with that Pal Pad, I think. Have they played it yet, actually? Maybe they've played it, actually. I'm trolling. I'm not sure. Ooh. They're not... I think they're just trying to get energy on the Greninja to retreat it. That's fine. Well, I guess they... Mm, we need to put Manaphy back. Oh, my God, dude. No way. Oh, wait. They're not... Wait. Okay, maybe they just don't have a water energy. I was going to say, they could have won the game with Greninja. They, I don't think they have any energy left, though, in their hand. 
They actually almost they actually could have won with Greninja. I should have I need a super odd a mana fee back in the deck ASAP. Because they actually could win with Greninja here. I gotta keep that in mind. They can knock out Spite Ops and Wug Trio and win the game. There's Pokey Stop. Countercatcher. Yo, they can play that. That's actually kind of jokes. They have nine cards left though. <laughs> they can actually play the countercatcher. They're not going to. Okay, what do we draw? Boss. I uh how many energy switch are they down? Three. Oh, man, they could still Greninja here. That's actually kind of terrifying. I don't want to Iono them, though. I think we're just going to have to Super Rod and pray they don't destroy me. Because I'm not going to research. Or should I research? We're not going to Deco. We still have two turns, technically, to win anyways. No, maybe it's okay to research, actually. Yeah, it's fine. I need to get Manaphy. We got the Calamitous Wasteland. Yeah. I think we researched. Because we actually could win this. We just have to mill nine cards. We could also just win right here, right now. That's twice now in this video where I've won the game on the spot. And I didn't even have to do anything. I'm like, I set up my board. And I'm like, okay. We set up. But I might win this turn. And then I do win. I got to I gotta do that more often. I got to say I'm going to win the game. Because I do win the game. Hopefully, I don't know. We're playing just like weird pile stuff. But... It's because the ladder reset while I'm recording this video. But, do we have anything on the... No, we're not quite there. Okay, I was going to say, maybe we have a pack to open up here on the, the battle pass. We're playing Skull Dango. Not a matchup I'm super enthused about. Hmm. The one issue with this matchup is that they have Greninja. And, I don't know. They do draw a lot of cards for us, though. But they have Greninja, so it's like, it's kind of scary. They can knock out two Wug Trios at once, so... I don't know. This matchup could be tough. They also play Cross Witchers, which, I mean, it's not terrible if we mill them. It's okay. Our starting hand's, like, also kind of fine, I guess. We gotta hope they prize Palkia, or we can mill the Palkia. That's kind of what I'm hoping for, is we can try to mill the Palkia before it becomes an issue. That might have to be the plan, to be honest. Try to mill the Palkia. Oh, they're playing a... Never mind. They're playing a Gardevoir engine. That's fine. Actually, this makes it a bit easier to win. Alright, never mind. If they're not playing Palkia, then it's, like, actually totally fine. Because we can just, like, stall the Rolls up and Curly doesn't trap them. It makes me feel a little bit better. Our poor Wiglet's probably going to die here, though. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a Research or an Iono top deck. Skolrus doesn't really get us too much here. Okay, we'll see what my opponent ends up doing, though. We can also trap Greninja, probably. It doesn't look like, doesn't look like they're playing Water Energy. I mean, it's too early to tell, obviously, but they might not have any Waters, which could be big for this. So, Let's see what our top deck is. Okay, there we go. Colrus. Do we have an Erica? We could play Erica here. You get a peek at their hand. Next turn is probably not needed. It's actually really unfortunate. I don't know. Unfortunately, I didn't get a Wug Trio there. I don't really even want to do Ultra Ball. Honestly, I think we're just going to do some digging. It's gonna dig a little. Let's hold the hand for next turn. Maybe flip heads, get lucky. All right. What do we mill? That's a good card. All right. Yeah. That that's a pretty good card to get rid of. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That that's a good discard for sure. For sure. Yeah. I might as well hold the hand. We have Ultra Ball, Counter Catcher, Reversal. There's no reason to Ultra Ball away in these cards just to do a Wug Trio there with a two double Turbo. It's just not worth it. They also could whiff the thing this turn, anyways. We'll see. Probably not, though. They're probably going to get the KO. They only need two energy and a Goldengo. It's, like, super easy for them to find. They got Level Ball. Sure, sure. They got another Curlia. Bro's getting all the Curlias. Okay. Like I said, if they're not playing Palkia slash Water, I mean, Curlia is a great Pokemon to counter-catcher. It has a two retreat cost. That thing is already bulky with Spite Ops. That's, like, really good for us. That's the plan. We're going to try to stall the Curlias. There's another Irida. Okay. I mean, if they whiff the KO here, that'd be nice, obviously, but we'll see. Give me, giving me more time to set up is good. Man, no, don't bench that. I mean, I'm still, I think we always trap Curly regardless if they bench Manaphy or not. Um, They might refine the Manaphy away, actually. Oh, no, no, that works. Okay. <laughs> if they bench Manaphy here, they're trolling, bro. They're trolling. Yeah, there's Goldengo. I don't know if they're playing cross switchers. That's gonna be like the big thing is are they playing any cross switchers or anything? That's the uh the thing we want to be very mindful of. Do they play cross switchers or not? 
I guess they could play, like, Psychic Energy, which theoretically means they can attack me. Like, if they have Gallade in the deck, or Gardevoir, not Gardevoir EX, but, like, Gardevoir Shining Arcana, or even the one that discards two card, or discards a card and draws two, the other Gardevoir. There's a Gardevoir that also has Refinement. Then I guess it's a little scary, but I wouldn't put stock in that. We'll see, though. We should probably just, maybe Greninja is a better Pokemon to trap, I don't know. I think Curly is still the best Pokemon, just because it does have the biggest retreat cost. It's the least likely Pokemon to move out of the active spot. Let's see what they do. I'd be surprised if they didn't take the KO here. Yeah, there we go. I was like, maybe they're just going to pass and try to build up a hand where they can go after Spite Ops, which isn't a terrible play, to be honest, but this works. Okay. So we can start the train here of milling. We'll see how it goes. All right. What's our top deck looking like? That, oh, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Okay, cool. Wow. All right, Colrus. Do we want the Equine Horn? Mm, probably not. Not at this point. I'm going to get rid of Manaphy. That's ballsy, but I don't think they're playing Water Energy, so it should be fine. Bring in the Curlia. We shall level ball for another Wiglet. Okay, here we go. Undersea Tunnel. I want to find a research before... Eh, I'd love to find a research. Anyways, let's mill. How many heads we flipping? Two off the bat. Not bad. All right, let's see some switches go bye-bye. Nope. A ton of energy, though, goes bye-bye. And an Iona, which I would prefer to get Iona, though, in this scenario. Let's see if they can find a switch here. I mean, if worst comes to worst, we could try to go bind down, maybe. Oh, they have another Irida. No, they're playing t three Iridas. <sighs> There's the switch. Dang it. I was kind of hoping we would actually get an extra turn of milling. This hand is kind of dead. They're down to seven energy right now. They obviously have retrievals. It's actually super unfortunate they play three Iridas, because I was really hoping they wouldn't get a switch. They're coin bonusing, though, before they switch, which I guess makes sense. They don't want to draw too many cards. So I want to research, because I'm obviously... I'm, I'm most likely not going to get what I want off this Colrus. There's no way I'm going to get Countercatcher, Wugtrio, Reversal. This is not happening. I want to get a research top deck. That'd be great. I mean, even if I don't attack, just bringing in the Curly as a return is still really good regardless, though. So maybe that's just what we do. We just keep trapping the Curly as... They don't have unlimited switch. I guarantee you they play maybe two switch at most. So that's that. I don't know if they're playing cross switchers, though. That is a little scary. I feel like if they did have cross switcher, we would have seen one by now, though. Or at the very least, they would have played it instead of a switch because they probably would have went after the Spite Ops. Even without Spite Ops, this thing has a true retreat cost, bro. It is not moving. I don't think they play Psychic Energy either. I've seen just Metals, so it's safe to say they probably don't play Psychics. We'll see what happens. I think we just promote Wiglet, Colrus, try to get some ground spell set up. We still have time to win. They have 16 cards left. If they keep drawing cards every turn, I'm going to win eventually because they, they're they going to run out of cards. So we'll see. I could bring in Spite Ops for a turn because it is thick, but it's probably not a good idea. I don't want to give him an easy three prizes, especially if we milled the boss. Okay. I am tempted to go for the bind down strat, though, too. Oh, let's go. We drew research. Actually, perfect. I was really hoping we were going to draw research here because I do want to make sure that I can draw more cards. And Colrus was just not getting there. Eli, right, look at that. We drew literally everything we needed. Counter catch reversal, Wiggle Wiggle Trio. All right, cool. All right, back to the undersea tunnel biz. Here we go. What are we milling this time? What do you got for me? One, two, two heads again. Not bad. That's pretty good odds. All right, what do we got here? Okay, we milled Super Rod, which is fantastic. Nice. Beautiful. Hopefully, they don't have another Switch, though. That'd be fantastic. Again, I highly doubt they're playing any more than two Switch at most. Like, I maybe they're playing three, but I don't know. I feel like you wouldn't need to play three Switch in a Goldengo deck with Curlia. That doesn't make any sense, in my opinion. I, if I was building this deck... I would just play two switch. I wouldn't play three. There's no reason to play three. So I'm hoping they just play the two switch. They could prize it. They could not find it this turn. If they have to find it, but they have to get rid of more cards, that just helps us. So it's like just makes it easier to win. It's looking pretty good. They definitely have another switch because they're refinement dean. I feel like they wouldn't do that. They could manually attach the Curlia to try to retreat, but it's a three retreat. They ain't moving that thing by the like, no, it's not happening. That thing is not moving anytime soon. Refinement. But, yeah, they have to get rid of cards to find Switch, which is, like, good for us, obviously, right? It just makes it easier. We don't have a supporter for next turn. I wish we did. Superior Retrieval's getting played. Interesting. 
Do they have? Do they actually have cross? If they have cross switchers, I guess they get sketchy. Because then they can do double cross switcher in a game. But we'll see. Then they technically would have three switch outs. I think they're going for the Iono. Because they're putting cards back in their hand. And they're going to probably Iono here, which is smart. Yeah, I figured. That's fine, though. We get six new cards. They could get the switch, which would be very annoying. That is smart, though. Ooh, we went for Versal. Crap. We got another boss, though. We still have Goldango to find the switch. Vessel, but that's not going to shuffle their deck. That's huge. That is smart what they did. That was a very smart play, putting the energy in their hand to put back in the deck with Iono. They're down two Ionos now, though, so I don't know if they're playing any more than two. I feel like you wouldn't want to play any more than two Ionos in a Goldengo deck because it's such a bad card to play in the late game. If they hit switch here by shuffling the deck, I'm going to be kind of salty. Another superior. I don't think they got it. I don't think they got it. I feel like we would have seen it by now, surely. Concealed cards. Now they have six cards left. Now I can just win if I find a reversal energy next turn. Hopefully I do. That Iono did kind of give me a bit of an awkward hand. No energy, no supporter. We got a boss, I guess, which is good. Yeah, they don't got it. Let's get it, baby. Sick. Do counter catcher? Even more sick. All right, let's shuffle the deck. All right, here we go. Undersea Tunnel. Let's get to Millen again. We could just win on the spot here. One, two, and that's game. All right, we, three heads. Just even more worse. I don't think they had a switch left, did they? They didn't have a switch. All right, we won. They had no switch left regardless. Let's go. They must have prized our other switch. I guarantee you that's what happened. Let's go, baby. What a dub. This deck is sick, bro. With this deck. I'm not going to lie. I'm having a lot of fun with this deck. We've had, we've, we've had some pretty good matches today. That was a good game. Not bad. We won with just one spite ops and play two, which is pretty sick. That's the best part about it. And there you have, folks. That is the Wug Trio Mill deck in action with the addition of Spite Ops and Countercatcher. I think Countercatcher is a fantastic card to play in this deck. As you saw, it was helping us a lot. Just trap something in the active for a couple turns while you spam Wug Trio's attack is pretty sick. I think Spite Ops complements Wug Trio nicely. You can attack with it, obviously, which is kind of cool. And Wug Trio, like I said, is just a very fun card to play with that undersea tunnel attack, milling your opponent and making it very hard for the opponent to play the game. It is a lot of fun. I feel like the coin flips are on our side today. I think in the last Wug Trio video I did a while back, the coin flips were not as kind to us. We had some pretty good coin flip luck today there's a lot of times where i literally said we could win the game this turn and i play my turn out just in case we didn't and then we win anyways so it's kind of funny how that worked out i think if i were to make any changes i would probably cut the erica's invitation i didn't use it as much as i thought i would maybe cut the echoing horn too i'm not too sure i definitely want to play some kind of card like that in the deck but definitely one of those two cards could get cut maybe play a battle vip engine i'm not a big fan of battle vip pass i've been not filling the vips lately it's just really frustrating when you don't get battle vip in your opening hand. But Battle VIP definitely would be a good card to play in this deck, too, if you want to maybe try to fit that in the deck. Um, but that'll be for me on my Wug Trio deck. If you want to enjoy the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 56,000 subs. Check our car cabin down below. If you get any codes, use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, and the Shovel Squad, and the second YouTube channel down below for some extra LDF content. We're on the road to 12,000 subs on the second channel, so definitely go give it a sub down below. That'll be for me. Hope you enjoyed the video today, and bye-bye.